So we have a, a power couple that's been making the the waves on Twitter or uh, you know Elon Musk world right now. Uh, so we have Matt Cardona, right? According to Steve Carrier of Ringside News at Steve underscore Carrier, Matt Cardona's name has come up a lot regarding a WWE return. We are told that Cardona is on WWE's radar for a return because he's talented, but Triple H has a lot of people on his radar right now. Who's on his radar right now? Well, turns out it's Chelsea Green. Going back to our friends at NoDQ.com, at NoDQ.com, belief that Chelsea Green making a return to WWE is a done deal. So we have, it looks like, Chelsea Green definitely coming back. And with the possibility of Matt Cardona, if they both come back, I have to ask you, Putty, who moves the needle more, Chelsea Green or Matt Cardona? Um, woo, woo, woo. I think you know it. Matt Cardona, hands down. Matt Cardona has not only the prior history in the E, the resume speaks for himself, but he's a bigger name on the Indies. He's king of the Indies. I think you're the one who tweeted out. He's, he left and came back. As, he's going to come back as king of the Indies, king of the death match. I think his name is more of a needle pusher than Chelsea Green, whose rest indie career hasn't been as stellar as his. Chelsea Green yeah. career, has career She impact, has won championships. At- NWA, great wrestler. But you put a resume against Matt Cardona's, I think it's going to be Matt Cardona will move that needle more than Chelsea Green. Not that I love Chelsea Green. I think just answering, answering your question, I think they both will be great, but I think he'll move the needle more. But does Matt Cardona come back as Matt Cardona or does he come back as Zack Ryder? He has to. I, and I agree. Like the money maker would be Matt Cardona. However, though, can he really call himself king of the indies and in, in WWE? Can he call himself king of the deathmatch in WWE? It kind of if he can't do that, then it does kind of lose the luster a little bit. I don't see why he can't. They've been talking about indies, right? They mentioned indies numerous times lately in the last couple of weeks. So I don't, I don't see him not being able to use that moniker. But does he want to use it? That's a but yeah, question. does he want to use it? Because how, like, how would that translate? Into the into the major leagues here in WWE, you know, King know. of the Indies. Like, okay, like I'm a I'm a WWE champion. Oh, uh, no, we don't know. We've are... never seen it before. This will be this will be something we have not seen before. An indie guy, quote unquote, coming in, marking himself as King of the Indies, not trying to make a name for himself in WWE. Well, I'm I'm King of the Indies. But here's the thing: can, can Matt Kerr do like what is his ceiling? Though, what is his ceiling if he comes back as Matt Cardona? Because we know what it is as Zack Ryder. We know what it is as, as, as that. And it seems like Zack Ryder is dead. It seems like he... yeah. Matt Cardona would be stupid if he were to come back as Zack Ryder. He's, he always and, says he doesn't want to. That... He's, he's at that's one's condition. He's not coming back as Zack Ryder. He's not coming back. He, no, he, coming he, back. he can do he can do so well, uh, you know, never come back to, to WWE doing his thing as Matt Cardona. But if there is that window there, like he would have to take it as Matt Cardona to come back as WWE. But there, still, what is the ceiling there? Is it him going against Roman Reigns? Could, could he compete for a World Heavyweight Championship? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't see him beating Roman Reigns, especially at this point, where Roman Reigns is. But it depends on how they build him, how they book him, how they put him over. I think he can like, get a title shot. Maybe with money in the bank. I I could see that maybe that that could, I think that's the absolute ceiling. Like I can see him more as an NXT champion with Chelsea Green. However, the other person we brought up here, Chelsea Green, I think she can move the needle in the women's division. I think you know if, if they let her be her, and I feel like when she was in WWE, you're you're talking about her as if she was never in WWE. She wasn't at WWE. Uh, not for long. She. Before. Not for long. She was in NXT a little bit longer, yeah. but when she got called up, she wasn't on the main roster long, correct? But they weren't really letting her be her. You know, she she has made a huge name for herself, you know, in the indies, on Impact, in NWA. You know, she's obviously capable of being a wrestler and more than that, being a character. And, and I think if WWE were to let her do her thing, and I think under this new regime, they would, yeah. you're going to see... I, I think it's very uh, underrated 
as far as what Chelsea uh, as far as what Chelsea Green can do on the main roster. I think she could be a future SmackDown Women's Champion or Raw Women's Champion. You know, I I, I don't necessarily think her ceiling is NXT. I think she can go higher than that. Okay. So that's why. That, that that's why I think Chelsea Green, in that sense alone, and no disrespect to Matt Cardona, I love Matt Cardona. I'd be thrilled to see what he can do in WWE awesome. as Matt Cardona. But you know, as we're talking about, you know, who moves the needle? In my opinion, like you know, that means being a champion. And I think I would have to give the slight edge to Chelsea Green. Okay, I can't argue that Chelsea Green is a needle mover. But name recognition, mainstream is uh, Matt Cardona. Whatever they decide to do with the championship belt at the Roman Reigns, drops them, keep them together, split them up. I think Matt Cardona's name will be in that mix. Oh, that is lofty. Goal. And I am here for it. If they can make that happen in a compelling way, I am here for it. As a fellow yeah. Long Islander, I am totally here for it. I just can't Cardona's see. Shown he can do it. With a, he's won like seven, eight championships at one single time. He can be a champion. He's a proven champion. It's just how W is going to book him and use him. I think it was him who said, you know, Zack Ryder's dead. Look at Reggie Ramon. Reggie Ramon came back as Scott Hall. as a different character. He can come back as Matt Cardona and tear it up and Absolutely. give him the right thing. And the, people, but, the regime right now is a regime I trust to make that happen. But Scott Hall never won a world championship. Keep that in mind. Okay. I will. No one <laughs> these either. <laughs> but, but yeah, Scott Scott Hall did have a phenomenal career. Though. Like yeah. you know, Matt Cardona could still have a phenomenal career, and that's fine. Uh, I I just think I think people are sleeping on Chelsea Green. That's what I think, and I think if given that opportunity, she could take that ball and really run with it. I think she takes the Morgan spot. Ooh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk. <laughs> I was about to move on, but how so? Green, I know, said this numerous times in the show previously. When someone comes in, when they bring somebody in, they got to take somebody else's spot. So mm-hmm. she has to take somebody's spot here. Whose spot does she take? Liv Who's Morgan. popular enough? I still leave Liv Morgan. They were doing something with this new crazy character. I haven't seen much of it in the last couple of weeks. Like storyline progress anywhere. I think if Liv Morgan come, uh, if Jesse Green comes in, whose TV time does she take? I think it's going to be Chelsea, uh, Liv Morgan's. Wow. That's my opinion. And that just randomly came to me. And I've thought about it before until I just said this. So I don't really have too much to back it up with. I'm just saying, off the cuff, she has to replace somebody. We'll see that would be that would be really disappointing for Liz, for Liv Morgan because I, I feel like she's one of the motivator. Over. Or with a motivator, right? Could be. Then who would Matt Cardona? Whose spot would he take then? Because immediately what comes to mind for me when you brought that up, there would be Dolph Ziggler. That's a good one. Robert Roode. It's not yet. It hasn't come back yet. It's a good one. Really but then if, if that's the case, then if he's taking Dolph Ziggler's spot, then we know the spot that he's taking. He it's more of uh you know putting people over then. Yeah, that's not the spot he's taking. Keep moving on. I'll come back to you at the end of the show. I think Matt Cardona is a wild card when it comes back because he could be that spot. He could be that guy helping the younger talent, or he could be like a Cody Rhodes type of guy. I, I think it, it, it's good one. We, there it is. Good one. Yeah, Cody Rhodes. He will take his spot because he'll, he'll follow that same trajectory. 